Now, you, you mentioned some names there, uh, Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben, I suppose you could even throw in. Well, who's the brother that ran the uh, Tree of Life bookshop? I that w that was, uh, his name was Connor. Con well, Conyer. Yeah. Not Conyers, it was Conyer. And actually, he and I sat on the panel together, believe it or not, inside of prison. We were invited uh, to speak at Four Bells Woman Prison in Brooklyn. It's right on the, bro the border between Brooklyn and Queens, right down Atlantic Avenue. And uh, he was invited to speak, I was invited to speak, and a few other people. In fact, a uh, brother by the name of Heb Koo, who played football with Jim Brown. If you see the documentary that Spike Lee did on Jim Brown, that brother in there, his name is uh, uh, Walter, but we call him Heb Koo. He's a lawyer. He's in that film, and he was also one of the panelists at Four Bell Women's Prison. This was about, oh, this is quite some time ago, maybe about 15, maybe almost 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I ask you that is because uh, history is just not in books. Even though you have a lot of books, uh, history is living history, and you live, you, I mean, you was in the presence of, of uh, uh, Malcolm X, you, you was right. too, um, um, sat at the feet of uh, Dr. Clark, and, and what just... Uh, Give us a, a short, you know, some people who have influenced you historically. Well, I, 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 have, to, I have to be honest. There were three major people who influenced me. Uh, I had met Dr. Clark when I was 12 years old, and I had listened to him and heard him, but I really didn't get the impact of what he was saying at 12 years old. He had come down to DeWitt Church on the Lower East Side and did a presentation for some other group. It wasn't even for uh, the, uh, the organiza organizations that I belong to. Uh, I don't know who brought him, but I happened to be there, and this was on a Saturday night, and I heard Dr. Clark. So that was my first impression about history. And at that session, he did answer some questions uh, that I had for which I had no answers. For instance, one of those questions were, you know, how could Tarzan be in the jungle and all of the brothers and everybody is afraid of him and he can speak to the animals and no black person could? So that was one of the questions that he basically answered. So it was an early influence. However, my major influence, and I must be honest about this, really came from a brother by the name of Gerald K. Donaldson. That was the brother uh, who really opened my eyes. Gerald Donaldson was a part of New York City Mission Society the Cadet Corps, and he had a major impact, I guess, on everybody who came through during that era on one level or another, even though in the beginning uh, people didn't understand what Jerry was trying to do. But again, his influence was major. He opened my eyes to a lot of different things. And he was one of the people who brought Dr. Clark to the organization, uh, to New York City Mission Society Cadet Corps, and specifically Penance Grove Fraternity. He brought Dr. Ben. He brought Elombe Braff, major players in the game of history, politics, Pan-Africanism, and nationalism. Jerry Donaldson brought them there. And I don't believe many of us understood the impact of what Jerry was trying to do. And I know I didn't, but it would later come back to me. Uh, Dr. Clark. I became uh, really close to Dr. Clark when I became a student at Hunter College. And in fact, it was because of Dr. Clark that I went to Hunter College. Uh, I first went to LaGuardia, uh, LaGuardia Community College. And then Dr. I had a conversation with Dr. Clark, and he suggested, well, listen, you want to get your degree in black studies, come to Hunter College. And as soon as I graduated from LaGuardia College, I made a beeline to Hunter College. And from that point on, we became extremely close. So I knew him very well. I knew all of his nuances. And at Hunter College, I met other people that I became close to. This was in the 1970s. I met Dr. at that time, Dr. Donna Richards, who's now Marimba Ani. I met Professor Joanne Edie Rose, who's still at Hunter College. I met Professor uh, Kazamali, who I think just recently retired, and a whole host of other people.